Everybody and welcome to this new episode of the Closers Podcast. Um, probably the first and last Sweden on location uh, edition of the Closers Podcast. Uh, I'm your host, as always. It's been a long time, but uh, I'm your host, as always, Mark Alvarado. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's been about what maybe two months, I think. Since um, since I was last on the show and did one, actually, a lot has changed. I was on the precipice of a new chapter in my life, and now I am deep within it. But like all great chapters in a book, there's drama, conflict, and adversity. And I'm currently facing all of those things right now because of the coronavirus, which we all know is uh, probably the one of the most annoying things that has ever occurred in my lifetime. Um, what was supposed to be the time in my life where I could be the most free, I have now had to, in a matter of a week and a half, I've had to just change my entire plan for like my entire life (laughs) because it's looking like I'm gonna have to go home within the next week and um, I wasn't planning on that so now I have to figure everything out on the fly say goodbye to my friends who I've gotten so close with who have helped me through the, the bleakest of times here and have made the brightest days just that more brighter um the people i've met here in sweden have been unlike anybody else that i've ever met in my life and i mean that from the bottom of my heart um i'm leaving them is the hardest thing i mean sweden's cool i mean i'm probably going to do another podcast just doing a deep dive on like swedish culture and what the differences are between American culture, Swedish culture, just how Swedes are and how Americans are and just, you know, the, the differences. But um, that's not what this podcast is about. What this podcast is about is um, talking about the virus, actually. I know that a lot of people have already done that. I know a lot of people are going to continue to do that. And uh, look, my perspective, I feel, is very, very different from just the average person living in one specific country. Like, I'm having to pack up all my things on a moment's notice, basically, and go back home, fly 15 hours back to Sacramento. And it's just like... Also, the fact that I've had to talk and befriend people from other countries, obviously. And now seeing how their home countries are reacting and just how everyone's affected by this, how everyone's exchange has been negatively affected. One of my friends, Anna, um, she's Finnish, and we were talking about this, you know, ordeal, this pandemic the other day and she said something that really like struck me and it was that this doesn't feel like an exchange anymore like this isn't we're not having fun no one's having fun everyone's worried everyone's kind of glued to their phones and um this is like the only thing we can think of only thing we could talk about and it's not it's not what we signed up for anymore the situation the global situation has changed our personal ones to the degree where some people are just going home because of that. Because this whole thing isn't fun. 
it's not what we expected. It's not what we intended on happening. And it's really unfortunate that, you know, some people, including myself, have been working towards this time in our lives, setting aside money, putting in effort to just have it be swept away and having to reintegrate into your home country and start your life again when this was supposed to be a time where you put it on pause. And it really sucks. I'm not looking forward to uh, going back, but, you know, it is what it fucking is. It is what it is. But one of the things that really sticks out to me, and it doesn't seem like there's too many of these people that I see anymore, but it, you know, it really fucking pisses me off, okay? There are countries around the world who are in lockdown because of this disease. And there are people across the world, but I'm just going to call out Americans because Americans are notorious for doing this fucking bullshit where everybody else in the world recognizes this as a fucking problem. Your home country's government, the American government, recognizes this as a problem it is a global pandemic but yet you have some motherfuckers in the united states of course in other countries too but i'm talking about americans who want to be edgy or just think that this is a conspiracy that that oh every two years every two fucking years there's a new disease that's going to wipe us out. And, and this is just the one that's just, they're just really going for it. The media is just really trying to fuck with the electorate's mind. Well, you know what? No, that's not the situation. Because look, I have a friend who I made here during my exchange. His name's Flavio. Great guy. But he's Italian. And his parents are both physicians in Italy. So he has a lot of information, and he and his parents are not by uh, playing into some conspiracy that, like, what, the global government fucking... No, okay? There are people in Italy and across this world who are dying daily from this disease and if we don't do something about it it's going to get worse and there's the same people who are like oh it's a fucking conspiracy i'm not going to change why people are just overreacting oh yeah some people may be going a little too far buying too much fucking toilet paper too much buying too much produce that's going to expire before they can eat all of it yeah, there's some motherfuckers that are dumb and crazy on the other side of it. But look, at least they're doing something to stop and try to curb this. Because it's not about you. It's not about you. This is a problem that is across all of humanity. And the least you can fucking do is just stay inside for a couple of weeks. That's it. That's it. How hard is it to just fall in line every once in a while? Okay? Yeah, I get it. We're the home of the free, the land of the brave. But right now, being brave is not stepping outside and fucking giving people hugs and acting like nothing's wrong. That's not brave. That's fucking stupid. You're stupid if you do that. Because, okay, let's say I keep carrying on my life. I go to the fucking beach. There's hella people there. I start hanging out with my friends. I drink like I normally do. I, I share drinks, whatever. I get the disease. I don't get fucked up. But then I see my grandma who has a respiratory illness, a history of pneumonia. She gets it. She fucking, maybe she dies. Maybe she just gets really fucked up. 
And it's my fault because I wanted to be brave and free and want to go where I want. I'm not going to listen to the government. Fuck the government. Ma, 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 ma. Fuck you. Fuck you. Think about other people for once in your fucking life and just consider that not everybody is as healthy as you. And that even if there is a possibility, actually, that even the most healthiest motherfucker can still get sick from this and can die. There's people across the world that fall into that category, super healthy, eat the right things, have n never smoked in their lives, but they're on a fucking ventilator. Okay. You never know. You just never know. So please, knock it off with this fucking bullshit. I don't. I don't understand. I don't fucking understand. It pisses me off. People that don't take this shit seriously think, oh, it's just gonna blow over magically and we'll get the vaccine. No, it's not about. Okay. Everybody that's going to get infected by this is not going to die. That's not what we're trying to stop. We have a certain capacity in our hospitals and clinics that if too many people at one time get sick, then more people will die. So that's why social distancing has been implemented in a lot of places because it's – look – you're going to have to go outside. You're going to have to get food. You're going to have to go for a walk. You're like, you, you don't just stay in your fucking play, like house. But what happens is the rate of people that get sick slows down enough so that way the hospitals, the doctors, the physicians, the clinics, the nurses, they can all deal with the demand because it's curbed by a lack of contact between the population. So more people are able to get seen on a more um, orderly basis instead of everybody getting sick at one time, there not being enough beds, ventilators, or any other equipment. And then more people die because they cannot get the care at a critical time. That's the point. That's the point, okay? And then the same people say, oh, well, there's only 3% of the population that will die. Like, it's just a 3% death rate. Okay, 3%. That, okay, by the estimation of UCSF, which is a very, you know, worldly renowned, you see San Francisco, it's a, world-renowned organization, institution um, that specializes in healthcare, medicine, and the innovations within those uh, spheres. They estimate that 1.5 million people in just America are going to die from this. Million. That's 3%. One and a half million people. Okay, so yeah, when you say just 3%. Yeah, the, okay, 3 compared to 97. Sure, 97 is a bigger portion of the pie. But when you really look into it and use your fucking brain, it's 1.5 million people. And it doesn't have to be that way if you just think about everybody else instead of yourself for fucking once okay jesus fucking christ oh <sighs> look i've been needing to say that shit for a long time and finally i'm able to do that because it really makes me upset that nobody not nobody, but there's so many people who are still pretending like nothing's wrong because it's not on their doorstep. 
Three weeks ago, Italy was reacting the same fucking way. And now there's police in their streets telling everybody to go home, stay inside. You can't go outside for more than 10 minutes because people just won't listen. And they just won't think about everybody else. If you keep going out and acting like nothing's wrong, that's what's going to happen. The government's going to get involved and they're going to police, county authorities, highway patrol. They're going to be sending people home. They're going to be forcing people to stay inside. And then you're going to be there. Well, the government, the government, blah, 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 blah. the government doesn't have the right to stay, t- t- tell me to stay inside. You know what? When it comes to pandemics, there's special circumstances. Okay. It's not all fucking. Oh my God. It's, it's, this is unprecedented in our modern world. So just make it easier for everybody. Okay. Fuck. So, switching gears now, after getting all that off my chest. um, The podcast, I'm going to be doing a couple more episodes probably within the next two months. There's not a set schedule. Uh, More information will be on the Instagram account um, at the Closers Podcast. Um. But I'm I'm hoping that I'll be able to do at least one a week starting maybe May or something. I don't know. Season two, it's looking like will happen now given the situation. However, it'll be different from the first season where I have guests, 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 guests. It's not going to be like that. Um, I'm thinking of what I'm going to do is, like I said in the... 40th episode, the, the season finale. Um, I'll probably have like reoccurring guests on the first and third weeks of each month. And then I'll have like maybe one guest in the middle or at the end of the month. And then I'll just have like a solo podcast. Just to make it easier for myself. Because it's really it's really stressful doing all of it by myself. Having to go to school. Still do my music stuff. You know, like I said. You've heard it before. Um, but yeah, I really want to focus on my music more. So that's why I, I'm, you know, just little by little doing the, the podcast. It's, it's not as much of a priority anymore for me. But I still want to do it in some for, form or fashion. Um, I know Quinn is working on... Um, starting his own offshoot podcast. So maybe he'll do one at the beginning of the week and then I'll close it out at the end of the week every week. So we're kind of going to be like sister podcasts, I guess. Uh, but I'm, I'm not sure yet. That's just in the works that might happen, might not. But I'll keep you guys updated if it does. Um, so yeah, for now, that's basically it. Um, we will see if I can get my friend Jonathan on the podcast on this episode. Um, if not, he hopefully will be on the next one. And, um, yeah, it's a really quick episode. Um, even though I was really upset on my little rant, I am happy to be back. And I really hope that you guys are excited for these episodes. Uh, cause honestly, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I really hope something great comes out of it because, um, I know there was a lot of excitement around it and a lot of people wanted it to keep going and uh, I want it to keep going too, but it just won't be as active um, as the first season. Um, and I hope that's okay. Um, because if not, let me know if, yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions. DM me on uh, Instagram. Also uh, like our Facebook page at the Closers Podcast or is it just at Closers Podcast? 
I don't know. It's one of those. You'll figure it out. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, I hope you stay safe. Make sure to just stay inside as much as you can, and um, yeah, don't, just don't be dumb, okay? Don't be dumb. Yeah, I'm probably going to be ranting for a lot. Like, that's probably what this might, maybe not turn into, but I'm going to be ranting a little bit more because there's a lot of things that are pissing me off, <laughs> and um, I have a platform, so I'm going to fucking use it to say what I need to say, and no, I'm not going to apologize, unless, of course, I say something that's really fucked up, and I just, in the moment, but I, I, I can control my, uh, my language pretty well, I think, I mean, I say fuck a lot, but I mean, who cares, anyways, 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 um, I'll talk to you guys later, hope you enjoyed this little, you know, whatever this was, this rant, um, and, and I'll disclose more information on like, what I've been up to in the next couple months in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, if Jonathan is going to be up, that's what will happen right now. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Take care.